Today, on Plain Simple, oxygen masks. Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at oxygen masks. Um, kind of a quickie. Uh, just so you know what you're looking, this is a PSU, passenger service unit, although the name is irrelevant. Uh, this would be on, a, on an airliner, uh, the overhead compartment has this PSU. This is where you have your lights, your gasper air, your uh, air conditioned air, and emergency oxygen masks. On the departure safety briefing that uh, you see from, from flight attendants, they always do this trick where the, uh, they drop one of these masks and they tell you that to start the flow of oxygen you're supposed to pull on the mask and then you put it over your head and etc etc I wanted to show you uh, why it is that you have to pull on the mask to start the flow of oxygen how that works what's behind it and since most passengers don't normally get to see the oxygen masks themselves I wanted to show it to get you a little more familiar with how it works and why you have to pull. We'll start with the mask. The mask itself is n simple, nothing to it. There's those little circles inside are check valves. Those allow your exhaled air to leave one way and only when you inhale the oxygen comes through the bag from from the oxygen supply goes in but when you exhale the air will leave through a separate hole. So your exhaled air will not mix with the supply of oxygen. That's what those uh, things are. So every time you take a deep breath, you're getting clean oxygen, clean air. The air you exhale leaves out a different port, a different check valve. Now, when the masks first drop, they hang by this little lanyard, this cord. And this cord is stopping the flow of oxygen to this particular mask. In this case, in this box, we have uh, two masks. There's enough masks to feed in two passengers and from this particular box. Now, when the, how, the, the way this works is the masks, masks are normally stowed and out of view. When the pilots in the cockpit turn on the oxygen or it deploys by itself due to a cabin, ca uh, loss of cabin pressure, this lid will open and drop and the masks will drop. What, may, what opens up the lid is this uh, valve over here. This is a pneumatic servo uh, of solenoid of sorts uh, that is triggered by oxygen pressure. When the oxygen pressure gets to here, it pops out this little plunger and that's what pops the lid open. So there's oxygen available here but not yet supplied to the masks. The reason for that is each mask is connected to this. This is the lanyard from the one mask. And what that is, is a, a pin stopping the flow of oxygen from the supply to that one uh, mask. What are you doing? By pulling on the mask, you're supposed to pull just hard enough to pull that pin out. Once you pull that pin out, now you're supplying oxygen to your mask, to the one that you pulled. Let me reset that back in. Just so you get the full view. When this first drops, it stays hanging by the lanyard. You grab your mask and you pull it down just until that cord releases. Now you have flow of oxygen to your mask. Put it over your head, strap it to your head. Bob's your uncle. The reason they have they, the reason it requires that extra step to start the flow of oxygen is when, in the case of an emergency or loss of cabin pressure, you don't want the oxygen to be flowing equally to all the masks because they're seats that don't have any passengers. Well, you don't want those empty masks bleeding off oxygen that someone else could be using. So it requires the action of each passenger to pull on the mask to start the flow of oxygen to that one particular mask. 
Now, how hard do you pull? Only until that cord releases, which doesn't take very much effort. You don't pull hard enough to pull that hose out of there, because then you're hosed. Now that oxygen is not, not going down this hose to your mask. Now, granted, it takes a lot, a lot of effort to pull that hose out of that, uh, that fitting, but still, you don't want to break the hose off. That hose should be plenty long to get to your face, but you don't pull until you end up with them <laughs> with a broken hose. You only pull to release that, that lanyard, that cord. Um, sorry for, <laughs> for the shaking hands and the dark video. This is, uh, the plane is closed up and it's raining outside and there's not a lot of light. We're inside the hangar. So, sorry for the darkness and the crappy shaky hands. But, anyways, for those of you uh, who've never seen, who have flown and seen plenty of safety videos, this is why you have to pull and how this works. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, that's it. Have a good day.